In this question, things are switched around a bit for us. Instead of being given an equation and sketching the graph, this time we're given the new graph and being asked what that equation would be. What would result in all these transformations? In this case, our original graph is f in terms of x, and it's shown in red. The transformed relation is shown in blue, and we're to define the blue relation in terms of f in terms of x. So, what combination of transformations are involved here? Well, the relation is definitely rotated vertically, and we also see that there's a horizontal compression involved. Then, there are definitely some translations also in the end. So let's build our equation as we consider the order of our transformations. Same order as before. We start with reflections, then expansions and compressions, and finally translations. So starting with our vertical reflection, and we show it on our graph and document our equation as y equals negative f in terms of x. Next, let's deal with that horizontal compression. Now, to determine the expansions or compressions in a situation like this, you look for reference points or sections of the graph that can be compared. And in this case, the horizontal line and its endpoints are perfect for comparison. We can see that the original line was two units long, and then the modified line is one unit long. Thus, we have a horizontal compression by a factor of two. And we can sketch the adjusted graph and then document the compression of our new equation. Now, at this point, the graph is the right shape, so we just need to shift it into place. And this can be done with translations. So let's shift the graph two and a half units to the right, and then we'll document that in our equation. And finally, let's shift this graph up by three. And there, the graphs match. So we know that this equation has all the transformations that would bring our f in terms of x to our new relation.